everybody and welcome to Planet U. I can't really tell where the camera is right now, but that's okay. Not sure how much you realize we eat with our eyes. When you eat a meal with your eyes closed, your taste buds slightly change. I'm going to prove this even further at the end by doing a blind taste test. But first, I'm going to tell you about a really interesting restaurant here in Toronto. One of the more interesting restaurants to eat in Toronto is Au Noir. So everything inside of this restaurant is pitch black. You're literally eating in the dark. Now the concept of this is to see what it feels like to be a blind person eating. And to top it off, all the servers that are serving you are blind. This is it right down here. They've got it gated off today, but uh, as you can see, it's dark even in the entranceway. <laughs> and it's not just because they're closed right now, that's exactly what it looks like inside too. Au Noir first opened in Montreal in 2006. And the second and only location opened in Ontario, which is this one here, in 2009. Not only was this a unique experience for diners, but it also employed blind people who currently are experiencing 70% unemployment. So I actually went to this restaurant myself uh, for a birthday. Basically, I'll just tell you the experience. So you go into the front of the restaurant and that is the only part that is actually lit. They basically introduce you to your waiter after who all the staff there is blind, so your waiter is blind and then they will lead you into the restaurant part which is completely pitch black like the most pitch black that you've ever experienced um so it's a really weird feeling and it's hard to get your bearings but the waiter um has led you will lead you in to your table now it just blows my mind how they're able to just navigate everything around them but that's their lives on like a day-to-day -day basis uh, it's a little overwhelming at first, the level of darkness, but it's really quite interesting because you can hear other people around you, other tables. You can hear people having conversations, laughing and talking, and it's almost like your senses are heightened a little bit more because, you know, you're hearing every little thing that's going on. Um, so basically, you choose your menu previously because you can either choose um, from multiple courses whatever you want to eat. You predetermine all of that ahead of time. Um, so it's appetizer, meal, and dessert. Or if you don't want something that's already written on the menu, you can choose your surprise, which is kind of more interesting and a little bit more fun because you are in the pitch black and therefore you don't really know what you're getting. So you're really relying on your senses. I found that was the most enjoyable just because you're actually really experiencing what it's like to eat as a blind person. You're trying to figure out, first of all, where's your cutlery on the table? Um, where's your plate? And like how much food is on the plate? Where's the food on the plate? Um, try not to spill your drink, all of that stuff. Um, so it's kind of fun to figure, try and figure out what am I eating, you know? Your taste buds really have to go to work, your mind's really going to work. So all of your senses are working. If you have to get up to go to the bathroom, they have to lead you out and lead you back in. It's like, it's a whole process. Um, but it's definitely something I would recommend experiencing because it was like nothing I've ever done before. And it made that dining experience like really memorable and really intense. It's pitch black, just like in the restaurant. And I've been given some food in front of me here. So like I said before, like eating in the restaurant, you have to figure out with your hands even, like, where is the food? So I feel this board here, and this is the blind taste test. It's a little bit like being on Hell's Kitchen uh, and Gordon Ramsay's giving me the food to, to taste. How good are your taste buds? I think my taste buds are pretty good, actually. When we did eat at, at Au Noir, um, I, I got the surprise meal, and I could pretty much guess everything that I was eating. So I think, I think my palate's pretty good, so. Okay, I feel the first one here. I think it's the first one. And already I know what it is. I can tell by the, ch the texture. So I'll find out at the end how many I got right. That was cheese. I could tell by the texture right away. Okay. That was cheese. Hopefully I'm correct. Otherwise it was some weird mystery, weird textured thing. See, you can tell I can't, I can't quite, this is exactly what it's like eating there. Where's my fork? Where's my, um, 
knife. <laughs> Where's my cup? Okay. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna feel it. I'll just taste it. Oh, this one is weird. Mmm, there's a pet in it. Oh. I know what that is now. It's sweet. I just got a pet. That was a date. Mmm. That was a good one. Good date. It was a good date. Okay. You gotta let your fingers do the walking around. I don't see where is the food. Okay. Okay. Hmm. This one's strange. Hmm. I know it's a vegetable of some sort. That's a tough one. To me, that tasted like a green bean. But I could be wrong on that one. This one might be, I might not be correct on this one. That one tasted like a green bean to me. And once again, I'll tell you at the end what I got correct. Although you can see everything I'm eating, so you know more than I do right now. I'll say that was a green bean, but I'm not sure. I'm not 100%. But we'll say it's a reap. That? Okay. That, I believe, from the texture, was a tomato. I'm going to say that was a tomato. So we got cheese, a date, green bean, tomato. I think I got one more here. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. That one was like basically void of flavor. So I'm going to think that was a cucumber. I got them all right. I got them all right. Woohoo! <laughs> My palate is pretty good. I'm very impressed with myself and Ramsey would be proud of me too. So this is a small taste of what it's like to eat at Au Noir and if you have the opportunity and are in one of the areas that it's located, I strongly suggest you go in. It's a really interesting experience and um, like I said, it just blows your mind that you're being served by blind people who do their jobs so well and so amazingly and it's interesting to feel what it's like to be in their shoes for that period of time. So. Thank you everyone for subscribing. We're getting more subscribers all the time. I can't see them, but I know they're there. And please uh, hit the notifications bell, subscribe, follow us. Uh, we love that our channel is growing. So thank you so much.